Hey everybody, the Reeswirel here, and welcome back to more of Stories, the Path of, Path of Destinies. God. Um, I was actually just looking over the stories to see what it actually showed, and it it's actually really useful, because it shows you all the choices you made, so it's really cool, because I think be between each choice you can actually look at the stories. I guess that's just to ensure that you don't make the same choice you already have, even though the game has a way of telling you what choices you've made. Although, technically, it only does for the first time you do that choice. Hmm. Either way, continue. The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Or so a scholar in the mountains had told him. Surely the weapon that banished the lost gods could defeat the Emperor. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Emperor had brought the Sky Ripper pieces up out of ancient burial by his obscene rituals. Could this be where the Iblis Stone was hidden? Someone better get it before he does, thought Renardo. And also, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Of course. Renato had a pretty strong suspicion that Lapino had betrayed the rebellion. But could Renato really leave an old friend to the Ravens? Well, we know he's a traitor, so yes, we could. Okay. God, it's really hard to choose what I want to do. I could go after the armature first. Um, or I could find the temple. So a mysterious temple has risen out of the desert, then present his ravens to search for the Iblis Stone. Ancient artifact may contain the power to bring down the Empire. Uh. Okay, I'll go after the Sky Ripper. Every child knew about the Sky Ripper. The Transcendent Emperor had buried its pieces. What could have brought them to light? This Emperor, Wissengrim <coughs> the Third, had once been kind, but he'd gone mad. And now he was conducting secret, obscene rituals to bring back the lost gods. Had he, somehow, summoned the long-lost components of the legendary weapon out of the deep places of the Earth? It was more than Renardo could fathom. But if he could find a legendary weapon, he would use it. Damn right. Okay. Yeah, because I think when I did this before, I didn't have access to certain areas. It's basically, I didn't have access to certain gems. set foot in the island. Renato couldn't help feeling a bit curious. Was Lapino still waiting to be rescued? No. He was probably drinking champagne with the ravens. Did ravens drink champagne? Did rabbits? Renato felt oddly thirsty, come to think of it. Oh my god, that's cool. And he'd chosen the Sky Ripper. Renato hmm. never made plans that required constant vigilance. He was a hero. He didn't think too much, he just went with his gut and hoped it all worked out. The Sky Ripper was a long shot. He'd have to devote himself to it. No side journeys, no rescuing old friends. That was against his nature. Could he stick with it? No, that, that's really cool. The fact it actually... It was time to make a new sword. Oh, there we go. Um, no, the fact it actually, like notes the choices or the truths so like we know that Lapino was a traitor so the fact that the game acknowledges that we know that and you know adds new dialogue because of it oh no I just find that really cool yay I don't really need all this art but yeah the more the merrier means I can upgrade more of my swords maybe I don't know how much I need to upgrade the fire sword I think I need 50 ore so I'd need to get to 120. On the plus side, I can make a new one. Booyah! Alright, I can finally make the Void Sword, which means I can open up everything. Yeah, it requires 50. Fuck. Upgrade! Sword from the Mystical East could make time itself slow for you. Increase movement and attack speed. Ooh! Oh my god, look at it. I like the Void Sword, mostly because it's purple. <laughs> it's my only reasoning. Ah, uh, yeah, we have the the spotlight things. I don't remember their names. Googlers? Cogglers? You were something like that. Did this not also lead to a gate? Oh, no, it didn't. I must be thinking of a, of a different area. Either way, what I should do as well is just check how much do I need to upgrade the Void Sword then? 
100 R and 15 Wind Essence. Oof. Well, I'll go for the Firestorm. Oh, they do actually have names. Hero Sword, Firestorm, Winterthorn, Void Blade. Cool. Okay. As for gems, I don't think I have any new ones, do I? I've got Treasure Hunter level 2. I don't know what the max level is. Oh no, the only other one I have is Critical Chance. Shield Breaker. Now that would be an incredible gem. Because I think it would mean I wouldn't have to disarm the enemies. Hmm. Shit. One down. Ugh. The eyes have had it. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Oh, there we go. There's one of the the things. Yeah, the gate thing, Yumijigs. Yeah, just get rid of both. Open up. So the best part about having all the swords is that now I can get past any of these barriers. They only seem to lead to, like, the red chests. Ooh. What do they? Oh god, hi. Oh my. Okay, great. Oh dear. Oh, great, they're getting buffed. This already sucks. Woo! Oh, lucky. Oh, I can't knock them over because they're buffed. That's bullshit. Alright, well we got him, we got him. Aha! Even when they're buffed, they still take a while to... What the hell, that's so weird. I heard that song today. <laughs> Went downstairs and Banana Rama came on. And they were singing that. that. Had been his mistake what? Before. Trusting his old friend Lapino, who'd been through so many battles with him and shed so many heartaches, who he'd rescued so many times. What was up with that guy anyway? Oh my god, I can't believe he quoted Banana Rama. <laughs> oh my god, that's that's it's weird. Quite the view, he thought. Is this the same place? Is this the same law? Emperor, yeah, Isengrim the third. That is indeed. Wrong oh shit. There we go. Winterthorn! Open up thine gate. Very nice. So where's this gonna take us? Red chest. Wait. Hold up, what? Wait, no where? It just takes us back here. Okay. I don't remember what any of this leads to. I've completely forgotten. Although I do want to break everything, just on the off chance that I'll get some food. Or not. That's fun too. Ah, well. There's the red chest. How come I never got access to that before? Blah. I dodged. Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, I hate this. Just the buffers. They suck. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, that's a... Ah, oh, well, I'm fucked. Yeah, I died. My God. It's full of stars. You died. God, no. It's the fact when you come across new enemies, they just all... Every single enemy you come across now is... New. That's better. Fuck me. Still getting messed up. See, this is why I want Shield Breaker. <laughs> we'll make the shielded guy so much nicer. You can't do anything with that. Alright, cool. Ah. Still not my favourite thing. Though I will say, countering and everything is so much easier with a controller. I can only imagine how much of a pain that would be. Wait, so is level 3 the max for gems, or does it go higher? Right, so all that led to was this. What? That seems a bit weird. Oh, bollocks, why did I do this? Yeah, dash into everything! Because why not? Don't attack something that wants to explode. Probably a good idea. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I didn't want to be in the blast radius. Level up! Focus. 
Indeed he did. Alright. The thing that I find cool with the Hero Sword gates is you can open it with any sword. It does not have to be the Hero Sword. Speaking of which though, I should probably use that to heal. I think I've got that to max level. Pretty sure. Oh dear. Oh! Well, that was close. Up. We got him! Hey, why don't you guys fight in groups? Oh, I know. Because there's no I in team. Oh my god. Why do they have to make crappy jokes? So there's that. I don't even know why I go out my way to kill the eyes. It just kind of happens. Ah, uh, fuck. No, you don't. That works. Yeah, I want the shield. Just to get rid of it. I don't have to worry about if they want to attack me. Whoa! -ho. Oh, that's how you do it. Very nice. Yeah, that was pretty damn good. Oh, it's one of these. It's a puzzle! What do you know? Hey, I can actually open this now. This was another one I couldn't get through. Hey, I'm a Firefox. Fuck's sake. <laughs> How many puns? I'm a Firefox. Alright. If I attack the things that want to explode, what happens? No, I was more so thinking, what happens if I attack it with a fire sword? But apparently, nothing. What? Oh dear. Ah. I keep forgetting that I can get rid of their shield if I throw someone into it. But never mind. It's just something I never seem to act upon. Hey, what do you know? A chest. Another gem. Physical resistance. If that means I take less damage, then I think I might take it up on it. I don't know, that would just be a really nice thing to have. Oh wow. Well, we're getting closer to the, the 15 that we need. But I think I also need... 100 or the, the the ice sword for Winterthorn. So I'm just going to stick with going for Firestorm first. Hmm, what do I want to upgrade? Grab damage, don't care. Getting stronger. Kick and throw distance increased. What about my just, you know, regular attack? Can that just be better? What is this? Inflict damage on hooked enemies. Okay. I have two points. Don't care. More health is always good. Is there a way of in actually? Hang on, I want to check. Is there a way of increasing the like max energy you have? Uh, oh, well, it's like the game could read my thoughts. So that's I'm at max health. Okay, cool. And here we are. We made it. Ta-da! He found it. it was Sky Ripper's armature, the stuff that dreams are made of. Engineers dreams anyway. The device was intricate. No one alive had the skill to make a thing like it. How is it part of a weapon at all? He'd have to ask a scientist. But first, he'd get the second piece. Sky Ripper had a heart. A core that had come to rest on the next island. Well, there was another island he could reach. Zenobia had just invaded it with her father's raven battalions. She must be encamped there still. But fighting Zenobia now, that made no sense at all. He'd already sacrificed one friend to get this, this armature, was it? He didn't need to hurry to face her. She would find him. Hmm. She should go see Zenobia, who just invaded a, invaded a city nearby. She was the Emperor's adopted daughter and his greatest general. But she also was his old friend. Didn't know why, but he felt the urge to go see her. I think I will do that. Yeah. Renato asked himself why he changed course to confront Zenobia. He had no idea. Sometimes he would just do things, and he could never figure out why he'd done them. Usually, they worked out. After all, he was a hero. Ah. God, trying to get to the end of all these... Endings is going to be a hard part. The truth is, though, he wanted to see her, wasn't it? It had been a dozen years since Swordfu School. 
He'd followed every rumor about her, every scrap of news. Not that he still loved her. After all, she was his enemy. No, hmm. it was solely because, know your enemy. All right, maybe he should stop pretending. He knew exactly how she felt about him. But their love affair always ended with a tragic death. Unless, maybe he could find a way to dodge tragedy. Surely he could. Couldn't he? Hmm. Guess we'll find out. Right, so our objective is to seize Zenobia. Well, there's a hero gate, which usually means that's what I need to go through. Why can't I break this? What? It was good to practice your moves, thought Renardo. Keeps you limber. Now oh, they have, like, destroyed the city. Oh god, I can see one of them firefuckers. Yeah, one of those wraith douches. Um, well, that'll take me over there. Now I'm just like, shit, I've gone the right way. Which I very well could have. No, this leads to a chest. But it does also lead to further. Ooh. Yeah, I can now upgrade Firestorm. Perfect. It all works out. Oh, great. Poof. It knocked him down as well. I didn't know that. No oh, shit. The more you know. You fucking dick. Really? I can't believe that actually worked. It managed to hit through my counter. Well, no, it was more the fact I was grabbing a raven. He hit through it. Bullshit. Bullshit, I tell you. There. Yeah, nice. Oh. So there's another hero gate. Two of the fuckers. But this led to a chest, which means good things, usually. Boom. Boom. Oh, that's what happens if I increase my... Oh, it's basically the... The icon's like someone flexing or something. Oh yeah, I've got more gems too. Killing enemies gives you 3% energy back. That's quite useful. I would like a new one. Oh, wow. Increased by 20%. That's really good. And of course, upgrade the Firestorm. Yeah! Ignites all surrounding enemies. That could be super useful. Wait, it actually changes how it looks. Oh, of course, I should have really gathered that, considering. The hero sword is green, when it started off as just being a grey sword. Oh man, that looks pretty awesome. Nice. Oh, uh, Cool. Now I've got that. Let's go on in. Hello. Wait. Where am I? Couldn't be good for global warming. Oh dear. Yeah. What on earth? Ooh. I'll take it. Gives me a gem too. Level two. Oh, is it attack speed the one? Damn it! Attack speed is the one I got rid of. Yep. Oh well, not to matter. It's not that big a deal. Would mean I'd attack 20% faster, I think. Oh. I could get... I could use this now. Wait, where is attack speed? Tw oh, 15%. It's not even that that good. I'll equip it just so it gets rid of the, the thing. Or maybe it won't. Whatever. Do not care. So. Hey, another chest. Hey, I can see a void gate. Oh my... God, I've just realised, this is... This game's so cool. <laughs> no, the fact that Void Gate that's down there, or Void Blade Gate, that's where you end up going near if you choose to go with Lapino. Or Lapino. Actually, we could... We might reach it. Here. Oh, no, we will. She loved to be in the vanguard. Oh! Where the danger was. Where she needed her wits. Uh, Renato pitied whoever she was fighting. Especially if it was him. Never mind, I can only go down here. Interesting. Okay, so it is different. So that would be if you went with Lapino. I keep calling him Lapino even though the game calls him Lapino. I don't care. It's the same thing to me. That works out quite nicely. Boy, if looks could kill. There we go. 
Yeah, I'm just cutting through all the eyes. Why not? Ooh. Owned. Haha. <laughs> so what's this lead to? Nothing. It's just like a shortcut or something. Fuck. Ooh, a red chest. <gasps> I want it. Renato wasn't entirely sure how he was going to capture Zenobia. She'd be expecting him. And he didn't have Lapino to cook up a clever plan. There it is. Why was it again that he hadn't got the core? Aha! Knew it. Oh, is this one just going to end with me dying? Magical jewel. Bernardo couldn't wait to find a work. I mean, if it is, it's... To be honest, I don't mind if it does. Because it means I get the chance to play through the entire level again, retaining all my gems. So, yeah, it would not hurt at all. It would actually be quite nice to have happen. There we are. I think I might just use the Firestorm for every thing, because it ignites everything. Although I'm not paying attention. Yeah, there we go. Oh dear. I realised at the last second that it was a shitty enemy. Oof. Not good. Hey, there's some lore here too. In this chest, there are woodcuts of oh, nice. beautiful vixens wearing no clothes at all. And something more useful. Whoa. Okay. So what's this? Dear Zenobia, as you read this letter, you are locked in your chambers, ready to spend your last night before. Well, you know, I will not apologize. I know you are too proud to forgive me. I also know you won't resist reading through. You are a cat. As much as I have tried to educate you like a proper toad, I swear to you, and you have to believe me that I did not plan the, all this when I adopted you. You have always been my special little kitten. That is why I am writing this now, weeks in advance. I know I will not have the heart to do it the night of the sacrifice. If I think of you as my daughter, then I may change my mind. You must think I am selfish, and yes, I am a selfish, sad little toad that is afraid to die. But what I am doing will ultimately serve the greater good. I want the power, I want it all, and so I will keep my subjects content. Peace for eternity. Even if you hate me now, you can still respect that you have to. It is the only way I can forgive myself for doing this to you. I will miss you for eternity. Tomorrow, try not to make a scene. Everyone will be watching. Still with love, Father. Okay. Alright. We've only gotten a few snippets of those, like logs. Yeah, but they're interesting. Wouldn't his gauntlet look swell with that jewel in it? All he's gonna say. Uh Ignite. Oh fuck. I pressed the wrong buttons. I need to be really careful. Oh fuck. Because that happens. Oh, wait, really? Fuck me, I just dodged into it. And I died. What the fuck? I was dead tired. Then he was just dead. Wow. Restart. That was crazy. I got 100 health. There we go. Oh, it didn't work. Why does that not always work? I don't get it. Oh! I mean, the Wraith is actually pretty useful for screwing the enemy over. Yes. It's quite nice. There he goes. There we go, we got rid of the shield. All that matters. There we go. That's how you do it. That was awesome. Still sucks that it screwed me in the in the first place, but whatever. Really does not recover all that much health, sadly. Uh, yeah. I think we made it. This is gonna end in death again. I mean, if it does, it does. Slinked through Zenobia's ship, making no sound at all. Where were her guards? Finally. He reached her bedroom. She was curled up on her bed. Oh, he'd forgotten how beautiful she was. How sleek. How soft. He tapped her on the shoulder with his sword. She vanished. And he suddenly noticed he couldn't move except his mouth. In fact, soon he couldn't keep his mouth shut. He told Zenobia everything. 
Sky Ripper, the rebellion plans, even where the secret rebel base was, until he was hoarse. It was some kind of truth spell. <gasps> A talky, talky, talky truth spell. She called her father by far speaker toad and filled his majesty in. But why didn't he get the core? Croaked the far speaker in something like his majesty's croak. Because I missed you, darling. Renata grinned. He doesn't even know why, frowned Zenobia. That makes no sense. It, it's a trap, shouted the emperor. I, I, I'll meet you at the outpost, and I'll bring my interrogators. Hmm, if Renardo came face to face with the Emperor, maybe he could assassinate him. Uh, but maybe it would be smarter uh, and safer to turn Zenobia against her father. Really? Go meet the Emperor, or turn Zenobia against her father. I don't think that will work. Every time I've tried, it uh, always screwed me. So Renato's irrational decision to find Zenobia after collecting the Skyripper's armature turned out to be a disaster. But maybe he could salvage the situation. Concern Zenobia against her father, could show her evidence of the Emperor's madness, but they would need to pay a visit to the scientists on the Nexus. He knew exactly what to say to make her listen. Try it. What are you doing? Asked Zenobia. Did you ever wonder why the Emperor adopted you? He asked her. She shook her head. He told her. His Majesty wanted to bring the Lost Gods back. They could make him an Eater of Souls. An Immortal. But to seal his bargain with them, he needed a sacrifice. Someone who truly loved him. She was stunned. Furious. You're lying. Under a true spell? It's a trick. You can't prove that. Take me to the observatory, and I will. Oh damn, it didn't result in death. Nice! I think it's because the plan wasn't to take her to interrogators to begin with. Here we are. What kind of proof could you possibly have? She said as they landed on the Nexus. Your father ritually sacrificed a village. And he left witnesses? The scientists resurrected one. Well, it's not really alive, but it can talk. A true witness, she frowned. The dead can't lie. Well, I bet they could. They just don't have any reason to. She nodded grimly. You go on ahead. I don't want the ravens to see me. Okay. Oh, wow. This is interesting. Bring Desnobia to the true witness. I know how, like, every location seems to be... Well, you seem to be going to the same location for every chapter, but it's still pretty cool. Why, because he broke a barrel? How dare he? Oh, fuck. I'm still like, I want health. One. So there's eight, 16, 24. Cool, I got so much. Just remember to break everything and I might be okay. Oh, fantastic. There's so many. Actually, no, they're in. It's just the fact it's a small area. No, you don't. Wait, he didn't die. The fuck? Get out of here. Oh! Thank you! Woohoo! How come I can't use up every single bit of energy? I don't know, it always stops at two bars. Doesn't make sense. Imagine if you built a house on one of these things. Oh, that would be amazing. It would be like having a boat. <laughs> what? Like having a boat? I gotta say, I'm not gonna be finding enough ore for a very long time to be able to upgrade Winterthorn or the Void Blade. Void Blade's gonna be the worst, because that's gonna take the longest. Open though. How close am I to a skill point? 1800 XP. So a good couple more battles. By the way, we will find out. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. It's an optional door, so I can't imagine it being that bad. Or, I can't imagine it being anything bad. Maybe a few fights. That's about it. By the way. Oh my god, spiral staircase. Sheesh, never ends. And what do you know? 
Whoa, 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 whoa. No, you don't. God damn it. Execute already. There we go. Phew. Oh! Snap. That was awesome. <laughs> Didn't want to do that. Oh dear. Whew. You're pulling the thing that wants to explode towards me. Not really what I want. Although it worked. Surprisingly. I mean, the the explosive dudes? Ew! Oh, so this is how I get to that chest. No, the explosive guys aren't that bad. Like, they're really a double-edged sword. Hey, level two. Nice. It's so, like, they'll either blow up and really hurt you, or they'll blow up and really hurt the enemy. It's kind of a bonus for whoever, really. Wait, I can't go down here? Okay. I'll just go this way instead. Going across. All right, okay. She caught up with him. Don't you think I'd know if my father wanted to invoke the lost gods? Would he tell you? No. Would you help him? No. I, I'd burn his books. Why do you adopt a stray cat? You don't ask a thing like that. No. Not when there's no good answer. She said, her whiskers twitching. Oof. Well, shit. Wait, so which way? Go this way too. Ah, uh, this just leads to a chest. Good, good, good choice. Ooh, lots of R too. So I'm up to 20. I'm pretty sure I need 100 for both. The Void Blade and Winterthorn, which is a bit of a shame. Check. Oh, hell. Check. Pointy? Check. Flexible? Check. What else do you need in a sword? Wait, a flexible sword? Something tells me that should not be flexible. But, I mean, whatever. Whatever floats your boat, Renardo. Ooh, energy. Good shit. Yeah! With all the secrets he revealed to the Emperor, the Ravens were probably heading for the secret base. Renardo began to wonder if there would be anyone left to save if Zenobia changed sides. Probably not, but I don't know if she will. Increase- oh wow. 30% now. Energy on kill is 3%. I think I'd rather go with attack speed. Or elemental resistance. <sighs> yeah, that'd be really nice to have. But my question is, does it go higher than level 3? Oh shit. Oh no. Oh wow. I didn't realise what I needed to do here. Now it makes a lot of sense. That took a fucking 40. We're safe. Yeah. 